We learned in previous videos that the incline hang system is a kind of device that shows uniformly accelerated body, meaning the acceleration is constant throughout the travel. And this is one of the uh, application of second law of Newton. In fact, we derived the theoretical acceleration in the previous video and we have this result. The acceleration of the incline hang system is the product of the Earth's gravitational acceleration multiplied by the mass B. The mass B is the hanging object subtracted by the mass A and the mass A is lying on the inclined plane multiplied by the sine function of the angle theta. The angle theta is the angle of the inclined plane measured from the horizontal axis. Now this will be subtracted by the coefficient of kinetic friction mu. Now that coefficient of friction is the friction between the moving object mass A and the inclined plane. Then multiplied by the mass of that object and the cosine of the angle theta. And it will be divided by the total mass of the moving system, the mass A added by mass B. We also provided or derived the theoretical uh, relationship of the tension in the cord. Remember that we have the string or the cord connected on the, on the object, on the two objects. Then it passes through a frictionless pulley. Now we can provide the theoretical, the theoretical tension of that. So it, force can be calculated. And it can be measured by multiplying the mass of the hanging object times the Earth's gravitational acceleration minus the uh, that mass again then multiplied by the acceleration of the system now these are the theoretical solutions of the inclined hang system remember that we need the acceleration and we need also the tension of the word okay now in this video let us focus on the experiment side of the inclined system we will provide you the materials no the the device then we will perform experiment we will we will uh, provide the experimental acceleration and compare it that to the theoretical acceleration and we will provide also the tension in the cord experimentally and we will compare that to the theory and we will uh, measure that no how far is that result away from the theoretical we call it as percent error good day everyone this will be our experimental setup for verifying the incline hang system the the acceleration of the system and the tension in the string so this will be our setup we have here the frictionless uh, pulley no? this is very uh, frictionless no? we can the friction can be ignored and we have also the angle no? the angle is we will be using 20 degrees it, should, it will be fixed throughout the trials so we sit already to 20 degrees fixed then we have this string yellow color then the object a is our or the smart card which has a mass of 240 grams will be our mass a smart card is uh, it is coming from pasco scientific distributor it contains sensors no? we have the distance sensors we have the acceleration sensors and we can we have also the force sensor and also the gyro so these are this is a good for experiment in mechanics so in this experiment we will utilize the uh, acceleration sensor and it's on the force sensor the acceleration sensor will detect the acceleration system and the force sensor will detect the uh, tension in the cord. Meaning, as the smart card applied by the string, that 
amount of force exerted will be recorded. So, the smart, no, the smart cart will uh, will provide the data to the com computer through Bluetooth. No, so they will the the laptop or the PC that contains the software, the Pasco, the Pasco software will communicate to the uh, smart card through Bluetooth. So everything uh, re uh, gathered by the sensor will be recorded on the on the PC, on the software of the capstone. Okay, then. Uh, the load which has the hanger and we have the slots for the the masses no we will vary the mass and with that will serve as our mb so meaning in our experiment we will be uh, changing the amount of b must be but we will fix the the uh, mass a which is the weight of the smart card which is 240 grams so it will be converted into kilograms it will become 0.24 kilograms then the friction board is frictionless no? so the inclined incline plane is a frictionless uh, to by the way the cart is the wheel of the cart is a very frictionless uh, system so meaning we can ignore the friction between the board and its and the and the cart okay meaning the cart will move only because of the tension in the board we can ignore friction in this experiment so remember that the theory says that uh, the acceleration of this system is the earth's gravitational acceleration multiplied by the mass b minus mass A sin theta minus mu ma cos sin theta all over the sum of the two masses. Now, in this experiment, our theoretical acceleration will be reduced. Why? Because take note that the, the friction between the cart and the friction board is approximately zero. So, which means that in the theoretical acceleration, the last term, no, the third term in the numerator can be cancelled out because mu is approximately equal to zero. So therefore, for a frictionless board to the cart, our acceleration, theoretical acceleration is only g multiplied by the mass b minus mass a times the sine theta all over the sum of the two masses. While the tension is the same. We have mb g minus mb a. So these are the theoretical formulas that we will be using. So all we need to do now is to compute for the theoretical acceleration and tension and we will provide the experimental acceleration uh, for from the uh, sensor. Then we will compute the percent error or we call it as a percent difference. We will measure how far is the data experimental away from the from the uh, theoretical okay so this is our setup no? we have here the complete setup of the experiment so take note that our inclined plane we have the mass A and we have the mass B so our mass A in this experiment we will be using the smart card no? so again this is 240 gram force which is equivalent to 0 0.24 kilograms. This will serve as our mass A. While mass B, we will be using the hanger. No? The hanger is uh, 5 grams. Then we will insert a load on this, on the slot. Then we will change the uh, load for different trials okay so this will serve as our mass a must be the hanging part okay again this is our smart card by the way this is uh, the smart card 
So we have here sensors inside, built-in sensor. Then this is wireless. So we have here the Bluetooth that will be used to communicate to the PC. So uh, for now, this the smart card and Bluetooth communicate each other. So every time that the smart card uh, recorded the data, then it will be transported to PC. Now this is the board. This is a frictionless board. So that's why we can ignore the friction of the car or the smart card and the friction board. So the only uh, force that applies to the smart card to move along this plane is only this tension. So therefore the tension carries the component of uh, the weight of the smart card horizontal okay parallel to this board and there is no friction okay so that's it so this is our experimental setup and the angle the angle take note that the angle is fixed to 20 so our angle is this is 20 20 degrees and this will be fixed Okay, so we call this as the hung, no? inclined hung system. Okay, so uh, above is we have here the spreadsheet no? that will be our guide. So we have several trials. We will try if we can uh, have it until 5. Let's see if we can do it. Now in the second column we have the mass. No, take note the mass uh, is fixed. Mass A, the cart. No? So the cart is fixed to to 0.24 kilograms or the 220 grams mass of the smart cart. Then this will be fixed throughout the trials. Then we will vary the mass B. So the mass B will be in the hanging. So take note that we will always add the 5 grams because the hanger is 5 grams. And we will start at, let us say, 100. No? So this is 100 gram force plus 5. So this is 105. So this will be 0.05. The 105 converted to grams is 0 0.05 kilogram. Take note that it should be in this I. So we have to convert it. While in this next column is the angle. The angle of the the angle of the inclined plane, which is fixed to 20 degrees. Okay. Then the third col column is theoretical. You notice that this will generate automatically because I encoded already the formula. No? So take note the formula. Our theoretical is uh, we have the uh, acceleration multiplied by uh, the mass b. Okay. The mass b. Minus mass A, then sine of the function of the angle, then uh, divided by the sum of the mass A and mass B. So meaning this will automatically generated our theoretical A result. Then the next, this is all about acceleration. Then in the next column we have the experimental. So this will be taken from the from the software. Okay, so we will perform the experiment. Then after that, whatever the result, we will feed in to this value for this given loads. Then after that, this error error will be automatically generated. Now remember that the error is we call it we call this as the per percent difference uh, value, no, between the experimental and the theoretical. So it is it measures how far. What is the percentage of the experimental away from the theoretical? So the formula I use is the difference, the absolute difference between the two theoretical and experimental. Meaning, take the difference of this, absolute difference means ignore the negative, then divide by the theoretical. I use the divisor for theoretical to, to convince us that we are measuring how far is the experimental away from the theoretical. You can also take the average between the Experiment and experimental and theoretical, but for me, I rather use the theoretical. Okay, so meaning 
uh, take note that the my my tolerance of the error is t- below 10%. Meaning if that if the error is below 10%, then the experimental and result and theoretical are not the difference between the two are not significant. Okay? So let's uh, wait for the result. Now in this column, this is for the tension in the string. So this is now the time that we use the uh, force sensor. This one is the acceleration sensor and we have the force sensor. Then we have three columns. We have the theoretical and experimental and error also, present error. So uh, you notice that it was generated as when you, when you put in the value here, the theoretical acceleration was generated because it, uh, the formula is embedded and also the theoretical. The must be times the acceleration gravity minus must be times the acceleration of the system. Since we have already acceleration, then we are able to have the value. Then after that, let's uh, do it on the experimental, on the actual, no? observed value, then feed in this one, the automatical late will generate error. Now, for our experiment, the data are taken from the software, from the capstone uh, software. Uh, this software is compatible to the smart card. So, we have here, I already set the time. We have two uh, results here. We have the tabular form and we have the graphical. So, in the tabular, I set the time versus the acceleration. Then, we have the time versus the force. So, we have three columns here. Now, take note that when we click the record button, then it will generate no, for an increment of 0.05 seconds. So, it will generate. Then, uh, we have the corresponding also acceleration generated as the time moves on. And also the force. So, But we can change this. No? You can change the force to velocity. You can change the or uh, also to, to acceleration or to, to displacement and so on and so forth. Remember that you can also uh, have the rotational no? because we have the gyro, gyro sensor on the smart card. Now in the graph, I have had only I have only this graph acceleration versus time no? because I want to see the acceleration. Now you can add more you know, more graphs here tour more you know, as long as it can be readable you can add a bit what you want okay so we have this uh, must be as 100 gram force plus 5 so again we have 105 or 0 0.105 for the must be while our must a is 240 or point forty five point. Uh, 24 kilograms okay so let's start now all you need to do is to click this record button then after that release this support of must must be in order to move this must be down okay then uh, notice that uh, in our data its time will be which uh, be recorded no all the data from the sensor will be recorded okay so let's try okay so then uh, click the record button then release then stop okay look at the result no the result is actually uh, the ideal is this one no? this result this this graph is this is the result after strike the ground so when you look at the result of the acceleration from start it from one then an increment of 0 0.05 seconds we have this result 0 0.7 0 0.7 0 0.6 okay now notice that we have negative so this negative is the result after strike the ground so meaning we use we we only concern on these values okay now all you need to do in order to have the acceleration then you have to Take the average no, of this result from here going to this one. So you have to take the average. Okay? So add everything, then divide it by the number of uh, populations. And that will be our acceleration. So in that case, maybe the average is 0 0.69. 
huh? and so on. Or then after that, find also the average force. This is the force. Maybe that is 0.88. So, uh, okay. So the acceleration, say it. Let us say uh, the average is 0.699. 999 or 0 0.7 so then click and the error is 7.28 or let us say let us say uh, 0 0.72 as the average so suppose you are <coughs> obtaining the average and it comes up with 0 0.72 now that is 10 points so it is more than no so i am sure it is not 0 0.72 it is maybe it's 0 0.7 but the look at the error the error is 7.28 43, which means that the difference between the experimental and theoretical are not significant. So it, the experimental data is accepted. While the theoretical, no, theoretical uh, acceleration is 0 0.962. While the experimental, when you look at the capstone software result, it take the average, maybe it can be 0.89 or maybe 0.9. So the result is the result is 7.44 or 45 percent. So it is actually below 10 percent, which means that the difference between the theoretical and experimental for the tension in the string is not significant. No? Just say 0.9. Then look at the result. As the number closes to the theoretical, then the error decreases. For the next trial. Uh, we will add the 100 plus the hanger which is 5 grams with let us say 10 huh? let us say 10 so meaning the total now becomes 100 115 uh, no? so we added 10 so this therefore this will become 1.115 so this will be the uh, must be and the calculated or the theoretical uh, acceleration is 0 0.910 meter per second squared while the tension it has 1.024 newtons take note the unit of tension is new newton because it is a force okay so let us proceed to capstone uh, to provide the experimentals of the acceleration and the tension okay so all we need to do is to delete the last run so we will clear up the data because this is now second trial so by the way you can uh, do several trials no if you want to uh, pick the record then release then find the the ideal data you want to okay so then erase the last run okay so it's now clean so we will have this take note this is already 115 this is 10 uh, grams uh, heavier than the first trial okay so click the record again then release oops sorry no it was not properly done okay do it again click the record then release back okay now look at the graph the graph is from zero then it climbs up no meaning the ideal result is this one now we look at the data here start from one there's no data so zero zero then it start with point point uh, zero eight climbs up to point two climb up into five point seven point nine then it is now approximately normal okay so meaning when you decide what is your acceleration experimental acceleration it start maybe from 7 down to what down to this one so take the average of that no? so let us see uh, the average is 0 0.999 okay so 0 0.99 then uh, your your what is that force maybe it is uh well, take the average no so because you you have this then do it the same the same number so then take the average of that let us say this is 0.9935 okay 
Okay, let's see. Okay, so in the spreadsheet, uh, we will include uh, encode the acceleration per result. So let us see, this is uh, the average is 0.98. Then the error is 7.74. Again, the difference is not significant. So meaning, uh, we can adapt the experimental result from the uh, smart card and the tension uh, of the string from the capstone software or from the software we had let us see that is 0.93 no? so therefore the error is 10 or 9.14 so still it is below 10 or you can you can adjust it no remember that you need to have the take the average and that will be the now if it's greater than 10 then uh, reconduct the experiment okay for the next trial uh, we will this is already trial too so add another 10 so take note this is 115 so added by 10 grams this will become uh, 125 so this will be 0 0.125 so we added 10 so meaning an increment of 10 grams so then the theoretical is 1.153 acceleration while the theoretical uh, tension is 1.098 gram force or newtons okay so uh, let's do it on the capstone on this software we will delete the uh, last run so in, to clear up the table so then uh, again we have to click the record button then release set go ah oh, sorry <laughs> so then do it again erase again so all you need to do is to click first now click first then wait uh, for a little uh, split of seconds then Okay, no, 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 not. So start, click the button, then in the list. Okay, so it's not good. The result, no, so the data because we had already a greater difference, so the acceleration is now greater, so the velocity will speed up. So delete the last run so it's that again click the record then release okay that's it no so we have it so look at this we have this uh, almost uh, constant acceleration so therefore by the way the first record is not yet uh, so therefore on this the average is close to this one no close to that value or maybe one point no so it should be uh, more or less one point if you take the average of that maybe no? let's say 1.182 and for the force 1.01 no? or take the average no? for the force take the average of this then that will be force for the acceleration, take the average of this, then you have Okay, so again, the acceleration theoretical is, let us say, 1.182. So then, look at the error is 2.48. Then for the uh, experimental tension, take the average, it is 1.1. Let us say, 1.1, 1.01. Then the error is six percent now if you want to add more trials then add it again so uh, as you can then again remember that if you increase the load on the hanging uh, mass then you are also increasing the speed of this particle so be careful on your on your gathering of data but based on that result Take note that the result shows that the difference 
between the experimental and theoretical are not significant. Hence that we have this a very precise uh, material to perform the experiment on the inclined hung system. Okay, so uh, again, you can continue by performing experiment. Now, then you have to, every time you you add another trial, then you have to erase the uh, last run so that you can have the clear and then continue. So, this is good that we have the theory side and we have the experimental to confirm the theoretical versus the experimental. So, thank you for listening. So, see you in the next video. No? This is uh, all about, maybe all about experiment, our video for this episode. So, thank you again.